Okay, so from there, once you have gotten those questions answered, that will then predicate what your video is gonna be. So let's say that you know you interviewed me and you told me, hey, these are a couple of things you have thought were unique, like no concerns or whatever. Then I'd follow up the video and be like, hey, Kara, thanks so much for interview interviewing me today. Really enjoyed the conversation. I could tell you guys have a really great vibe and culture over there. And here are the three things that like I got out of the interview and what I really liked about your organization, X, Y, Z. And then I'd be like, hey, you know, looking forward to the next interview. What do I need to prepare to make this interview frictionless for you and to make this decision easier for you? So, so I'm, I'm already asking these questions to prepare myself for the second interview. No one ever asked this stuff. We're like, what do I need to do to this prepare fire, for fire, by the way. This is no like, one, I, wish, no one, I wish there was like pyrotechnics <laughs> or something going on in the background. Like, this yeah, is but, fire. By but the no way. one asked, like, what do I need to prepare to make this frictionless and an easy decision for you? Because as a hiring manager, I, over, I interviewed over hundreds of SDRs. Some of those interviews were, were like, I had a toothache. I was like, yo, this person was not prepped. Like, what is this person talking about? And the thing is, like, every time I went into an interview, we always treated it as, like, friction. That first one, because I don't know what you're going to come prepared with. And also, I could be doing a million other things. So if you ask me, hey, Morgan, like, how can you make this frictionless? Or, like, hey, Kara, how can I make this frictionless? You're going to be like, oh, yeah, come prepared with these things. Because you want to make sure that that interview is easy for you.